Welcome back everyone and today we'll be looking at DaVinci Resolve 17 and some of its features. So let's get started. Okay, so we'll be creating this video over here. This is a small BMW commercial, uh, fake commercial. So over here you can see that uh, this is the welcome screen of DaVinci Resolve 17. Uh, let me make it clear that you can download DaVinci Resolve from blackmagicdesign.com and it's totally free for your own versions Mac and uh, Windows. So over here is the welcome screen where you can create a folder. Over here I have my own folder over here where you can, where you can dump all your project files and uh, whatever your project you are working on it and even you can create a new project so let's create the bmw commercial create and then you will be greeted with this gui the interface the main interface of davinci resolve not to be confused it is uh, and not to be scared of this is the simplest one as you work around so it's the interface is divided into seven different uh, tabs or the seven different to work areas or seven different components the first one is media where you can import all your files uh, whether it is jpeg uh, jpeg png um, video files or uh, audio files you can import it over here you can work around you can manage uh, and even there is a master uh, master folder a master folder and the smart pin with the keywords the other one is the cut interface where you can trim and cut precisely for each and every video which you are working on the third one is the edit which is the main uh, work area for the timeline area is the timeline that you can work around there even you can import your videos from here also and uh, this have an effect library and the inspection inspector window the fourth one is the fusion where you can work around on your uh, transitions your effect in a sequence manner it shows step by step uh, and it is a, a complex way of doing so we will look into it uh, or just scratch the surface the other one is the color grading color corrections this is the one which is uh, for which davinci resolve is known for uh, here you can see for tiles for wheel also here with lift comma king and offset you can work around and even you can copy each and every effect to each videos Fairlight Fairlight this is the one where you can work around on your audio files for the complex even you can do basic editing in the edit tab but here you can dive in and you can work on the audio files as on your left and right channels the last but not at least is the deliver one where you can uh, select your uh, output file like YouTube where, wherever you want to upload depending upon the resolution and then you can add it to the render queue and render all you can render multiple videos over here or multiple formats over here so let's begin with the media file let me import right click import uh, media and here's a shortcut for command i on mac as i'm working on mac I have created a DaVinci Resolve folder where I will import the audio, uh, the BMW logo, which is a PNG transparent, and some of the audio file for this exercise. So here are the files. Even if you, if you can hover over, you can have a preview of each and every file, or you can double click and you can play it from here also. If some of them have the audio file attached, and uh, some of them. Uh, are the plain file where we can include our own music on it so let's get to the cut work area so let me import uh, my first video over here of this interior of BMW over here you can see the timeline on the timeline the video has been the clip has been imported uh, import and uh, over here you can see the preview here is the timeline uh, overview and uh, these they had are the similar to the one over here you can see a bit sound you will get into it let's get to the end of the end of the clip the clip ends over here so let me get another 
over here you can see that there is another uh, seat bar over here for uh, for the video where you can work around uh, where you can cut and uh, you can import the power portion of the video file so over here I this script is quite long so what we need to do is let's get to uh, a portion of it and uh, press I on your keyboard for input and you can see that this portion will be selected this is fade out this one is selected so from here it will be imported in your timeline and over here you can see that there is a line which shows that this clip has been trimmed to this area it will start from here and it will be imported in the timeline so let's get a portion of it until over here and Press go on your keyboard for the out and drag it to the timeline. Over here you can see that a part of a portion of that clip has been imported. The another thing is this clip is quite long so what we will do is we will drag from the end, hold it and you can see that green line that shows that you have been trimming precisely on the last clip and uh, let's go until over here. Right. You can see the preview over here that uh, how much is. this zigzag line shows that the end of the video and of the timeline video. So over here, if you if you move to the middle of the video, even you can trim it around. If you hover over, you can see two. Uh, you, you can see two track lines over here. The first one is uh, for the first clip, the ending position, and the second one is the starting position of the second clip. So what you need to do, if you click and hold, you can see a red and a green. The green will overlap over the red line. So if you track, the first video is overlapped by the second. You can see precisely how the trimming is done on your upper right corner of two the two videos. So let's get to this portion of the video. There you go. And we have trimmed this a lot you can even import other videos also but uh, for the time being this is enough so let's move uh, to the other uh, work area which is edit and the main you can see that the first clip have audio attached to it and uh, the other one which we have trimmed a portion of it still doesn't have any audio file so we doesn't require this audio file also so what we need to do is we will import our own music and we will play around it just for this exercise uh, over here let me explain you a bit about the interface these are the effect which you can in where you can which you can use for your videos here is the same our media file the import the uh, our master files here you can see the inspector window if you click on if you click on one of uh, uh, the portion of the clip or uh, the clip from the timeline this effect you can see the name of uh, in the inspector window over here so what we need to do is for example if I need to unlink it before that I need to show that you can even rename your layer right let me BMW commercial okay and you can even audio but uh, that doesn't require so what I need to do is uh, you can see a bit of sound in this first clip so what I need to do is let me import for another for the last over here. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. And uh, one thing I just need to remind that even if you want to unlink, what you need to do is you you can see that red that notification that these two clips are linked together so what you need to do is click on this one and click over here only now you can see still you can unlink them and if you now they are unlinked so I click them individually and hit delete the same will go for this one this unlink click on the audio file and click delete coincidentally if there's a gap what we can do is that even you can drag it around and stick together or you can 
click on the cap and hit delete and we'll do the same so now let me import a logo at the end of this video like that and click on magnet also this will this thing here. don't forget to click on this magnet because if this is unclick it will overlap or if you unclick it look it will overlap and you will never know that how much video has been uh, trimmed so for that just give it a gap click on the magnet and then click it will attach to the last of the video of the last of the clip whatever uh, in, in your timeline so the other one the next comes uh, yeah, the fading effect so what we need to do is for example if the video doesn't start as a whole what you need to do is we can we can even trim it over here also so let me introduce you another method of trimming which is a blade over here if you press B on your keyboard and click on the blade is selected and click over here so this clip is divided into two portion over here and click and press A again for cursor to select and over here you can see that it's been split into two so what I need to do is I have need to move this and have to make a room for the first clip and bring it as a first clip over here you can see another layer has been created this by default so you can work uh, on multiple layers in DaVinci Resolve over here you can see that if I press play button if I press space bar it will play automatically you can see this clip is a bit slow so let me speed it a bit this is the portion of this clip so I will keep this one slow uh, as normal speed and I will speed this up so just click on this uh, click on this clip right click and change clip speed make it 200 click change and spacebar to play and here you can see that the clip speed is changed a bit okay the other one comes in here if you can see that you can even zoom around in the spectra window or let zoom it to 1.25 uh, right so this this clip is a bit in zoom and let me check the logo because the logo is on a transparent layer so by default it will be on black the logo is quite huge so let me zoom it out uh, 0.5 that's good and let's go back to the starting of the clip even if you want to work around the starting and the end of the clip what you can do is hold alt on the keyboard and scroll mouse up and down to zoom in and out of the clip so here it is so now let's fade in from the beginning so what we do is if you click on this clip you can see that there is two handlers on the beginning and the end of the clip so just drag this a bit where you can see the dark side over here is the fading effect and here you go this portion of the video is will fade and will start as you click like this okay so let's do it for this clip also before the logo appears uh, a bit around here and this one like this and followed by this one check it just play a bit fade out fade in and then again fade out perfect let's get back to the beginning of the uh, timeline and uh, the next things comes in the effect library so over here uh, let's bring in the uh, let me select, let me select uh, video transition and let me yeah blood, blood dissolve let me get the blood dissolve over here and even you can drag around uh, until you can match it with the fade in 
this portion of uh, the clip shows that there is an effect on it and even you can see if you uh, add a transition even you can see the transition which is blur dissolve and you can even change the duration from here also uh, you can play around and if you click over here this is a video clip this is a video clip and this is the transition so let's check it out even you can see this is the blur effect and along with the fade one and the videos goes on okay perfect is fine and let me get uh, for the text one let's include a basic text let's go for something from the title yeah there you go and include this over here and let's continue this until the end of the a bit before video over here again i'll go for the transition of fade in for the text start from here and fade out the text from here right so let's check this out so the text appears on time and there it is so a bit early over here that's fine now you need to change the text if you click on this over here you can change the text so let's go for something introducing new BM, bmw right. over here my text is uh, uh, getting mixing with the, the background over here so let me change the color go for something which is which you can see go for blue one that's okay and the text is uh, in the center of the video in the center of the clip so we need to change uh, make sure this let's do it 514 zip goes to our it's perfect now if you play from the beginning you can see the transition blood effect and then the transition for the text and it goes on and on let's try to put on here also the same video over here and then it's fade out it will fade out too it's fine okay now let's add some music so over here we have this big city light free royal free royalty free music where you can see the audio file has been included but this music is quite long let me trim it a bit select the file trim it and let's further over here and even change the transition just like the videos to play to here and from the beginning also do the same and you can even increase the volume let's give it a try here you go show you one thing if you click on mixing you can uh, play around with the audio over here also and uh, I don't need it right now so there is our test video so let's move around to the fusion part of it so the fusion portion here you can see that here is media in and here is media out if I want to include in uh, any effect like uh, I'll go for uh, uh, radial blur so let me introduce radial blur over here over here you can see that the radial blur is inserted into the timeline this is a bit of sequence is one two and three it will come from here you can see the playhead over here it will strike on this one even you can move it around and it will end up to here so I don't want to uh, uh, to get this uh, complexity into so just keep it simple command Z around and uh, even you can play around in this fusion this is for the complex editing let's go for color correction over here over here you can see the text layer and here's the video layer and let me select the first layer first video over here 
and let's make it a bit to an eyes like it make it a bit blue to a blue and uh, decrease the saturation to 40 uh, contrast to 1.25 is good enough still the color is black and uh, over here you can see the notification with the color the color around 01 clip which shows that uh, this is color corrected if you click on this one control c to copy the settings and control v to paste on each and every one just leave the last one here you can see a bit of uh, a bit of need to work around for the contrast so let's uh, make it 1.5 it's too much 1.25 is good that's why 1.25 is good so this is the color correction and uh, for simple you can even work around uh, work around and you can play around the color correction for DaVinci Resolve is the best one and uh, which is for which it is known the second last is uh, the fail light where you can see the big city light uh, left channel and right channel you can work it around this is the complexity uh, in a complex way you can work on this part uh, of the, uh, the uh, this part of uh, your work the last but not the key is the deliver one where you can you can, view, where you can view your final video before importing and over here you can see that this has been color corrected this is all your layers your, on your timeline Click on YouTube if you want to import, uh, export it for YouTube, and uh, doesn't matter if it is uh, MP4 and uh, good time. Uh, what I have observed that both have the same uh, uh, same capacity, and both the file size are the same. So if you go for MP4 and video co coding, just leave it to H2.264. Uh, I know that H265 has been introduced, but let's stick to H.264. Uh, and add to queue where it will ask you let me let me export it on desktop with bmw commercial one and let me get another version also with time same add to queue so this is the one with mp4 this is the one with dot move both of them so let the reason for showing you that you can even render your multiple files over here if you click on this one it will show render one or it will only render this one if you click on this one it still will show render one but if you click select both of them by holding shift it will this will turn into render all so let's render all and here you can see that it's been rendering the first one followed by the second one so this was DaVinci Resolve 17 an overview and uh, some of its feature uh, if you like the video just click the thumbs subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon for notifications bye bye and thanks for watching